When people ask me where I'm from, I kind of say nowhere because my father worked for a multinational and they just moved us around to various spots as they, as they needed. Um, the longest I ever lived anywhere was in Australia, in Sydney, from the time I was 11 till my first day of college, which my was my first day back in the United States uh, at Rice. Um, I have to confess, I didn't like Rice very much, and so I asked Harvard Business School to take me directly out of my junior year rather than making me go through a senior year of college, and for reasons I still don't quite understand, they said yes. So I, so I went on to Harvard Business School and uh, joined McKinsey and Company as an associate directly out of there. Now because of the skipping of the, of the um, senior year of college and having no work experience, I was the youngest associate in the office by more than five years. I think there was another five or six years went by before there was anybody younger than me. Um, and, but after being there for four years, I took a leave of absence to go to the Treasury Department because I wanted to serve my country, but I had never done military or something like that. So I spent about 18 months at the Treasury Department as the policy advisor to the number two guy in Treasury. The, the whole Treasury Department reports to him and then threw him to the Secretary of the Treasury. Came back to McKinsey um, and uh, was elected a partner in Washington but then transferred to New York immediately because I was serving all New York clients and I didn't want to live on a plane the rest of my life. After about three years of that, I transferred to Atlanta and have been in Atlanta uh, ever since. Um, as a senior partner at McKinsey, um, I co-led the worldwide strategy practice, but led the part that was trying to advance the state of the art of thinking about strategy. So that was the, really my role. Um, after I retired from McKinsey, because I frankly, you know, I'd been a senior partner for about 14 years, and it was getting to be a little bit the same. Um, I decided to teach strategy at the Harvard Business School, do some consulting, and then for the last three years, I have started and am the CEO of a biotechnology company on top of still continuing to teach at Emory. So I've had a lifelong interest in strategy, especially competitive advantage. I think that competitive advantage is the most important, unique aspect of strategy, but it's the one that the consulting firms and the clients do least well. They understand the industry. They do a good job of understanding the company's internal economics. What they don't do a very good job of, in my view, is understanding how does your actions and those of your adversaries interact to give you the best results. So that's what I've always focused my thinking on, and that's the course I teach today at uh, Goizueta Business School. I teach advanced competitive advantage.